Hello, Jesus men. Welcome to another edition of Men's Talk. Today, I want to talk a little bit about grace. One of the things that I see drive men in their pursuit in life is when, you know, they don't want friends or people around them to be more than them. So whether consciously or unconsciously, they compete. They are driven by that competition. They are driven by what others have achieved and they want to achieve, if not the same thing, even more. Another reason because of that, for that is because or rather as a man, you want to you want to you want your wife to be proud of you you want your children to be proud of you you want to show them that yes you are a success in life all these yes um it's good to be a success in life but how you go about it matter and i said i want to talk about grace today understand this don't compete with grace don't criticize grace appreciate grace. I'm talking about when you recognize grace in the life of someone, someone close to you, someone you observe, someone you see. Don't criticize grace. Appreciate grace. Recognize grace. Celebrate grace. And because, you see, if you, if you, if you compete with grace in the life of someone else, it can lead to frustration. It can lead to depression. You know, and those who compete with grace end up failing and falling. And one of the very crucial things that the Holy Spirit ministered to me, those who compete with grace in the life of other people fall, risk falling into ingratitude. What does that do? It makes you lose sight of the grace of God upon your life. You are also a carrier of grace. There is a grace of, Paul, of God upon your life. All you need to do is to appreciate and first of all identify your area of grace. Your area of grace. Your area of strength that comes to you effortlessly. And grace comes upon you as you do it. Grace, you know why? How you know? Grace does not carry with it struggle or hustling or toiling. You, you work hard, you make effort, then you see the grace of God fall upon it. But the point today is make sure you are not competing with, you can't compete with grace. You cannot. Grace will always be ahead. So the best thing is for you to operate in your own grace. Peter, John, they were with Jesus all through the life of his ministry, yet they had their own area of grace. When Paul came in, he wrote two thirds of the script of the epistles. That was his grace. That was his area. As a, as a matter of fact, at the point, they, they were even saying that his presence was not as strong as his letters. You know, he was. Um, he was um, someone that maybe he didn't, he didn't have that much charisma, but he had grace in an area, many other areas, of course. One of it is that God gave him the grace to write letters. Thankfully, Peter, John did not try and compete. They just did their own bit, did what God has called them to do, and they moved on, and they succeeded in their life and ministry. Grace cannot be competed against. You can't compete with grace. You cannot struggle with All you need to do, first of all, identify your area of grace, appreciate it, and ask God, like Second Peter chapter 1, verse 2, uh, verse 2 says, that grace, be, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So all you need to do, God, multiply the grace of God upon my life. Or multiply your grace upon my life. Wherever you are operating, let grace be multiplied unto you. So you move from one level of grace to another. Not that you are competing with another man's grace. No, you are moving from one level of your grace 
to another. Grace is being multiplied on, upon you when you identify your area of grace, when you, you appreciate your area of grace, then you ask God to multiply grace upon you and that will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't compete with grace, another man's grace. Don't, don't, don't analyze another man's grace. Don't criticize another man's grace. Trust God for grace upon your life, upon your business, upon your, your, your effort and he will prosper the work of your hands. That's another edition of Men's Talk. God be with you. God bless you. I'll see you another time.